Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Okay, we got one build to do, and I think I'm actually gonna start off with that. I feel like that would be a little bit of a fun way. And of course, I have everything written up, so I don't need to check the email. Okay, let's see. That should be this one, our living stone. We went with a uh, MSI carbon motherboard and a i7-6700K. Alright, very nice. And we went with kind of a sheep case though, but it it works. Right, and we went with a 6700K. Put that in. Run paste. And how much RAM did we go with? We went with two, two 8 gig sticks from Team Group. Right, there we go. Let's see, I think I will need to put the cooler over here. Uh Let's see, I did go with a HyperX SD. Yeah, and that will be put back here. Okay, cool. So it won't be disturbing the cooler at all. Awesome. All right, so far so good. Now then, let's see, what else did we have on the list? We have a Sotac 1070 Mini. A small but powerful graphics card. Okay. Next up is the 750 watt power supply. Red. Okay. Let's see, have I forgotten anything? So we got the i7, the cooler, motherboard, two RAM sticks. Graphics card, SSD, power supply, and case. No, I think we got everything. Um, hmm. What kind of color would I like to go with, though? I guess I could put this back together a little bit. Okay, like, there is no color on any of this. The only color that there is, is the one on the power supply, and that is red. I got red so often, though. Uh, how about we go with a white to match the RAM sticks? White is a bit boring, but it is a very neutral. It works with anything. So, it kind of has a charms in that way. Uh, 
All right, and yes, let's connect you to the motherboard. And bam, we are good. And with 370 bucks remaining, we could have done better. But still, this is like the highest end we could uh, go when it comes to uh, Intel. And I mean, I could have gone with maybe the ASUS 1070. That is slightly better. Oh, no, not ASUS. Uh, MSI. But that's probably the only thing that I could have been proved on. Or, well... Could have gone with more RAM and uh, bigger SSD. <laughs> Seriously though, it is a good piece of machine. And I forgot what I usually forget, and that is the power button. <sighs> Maybe I should write that up too. Connect power button. Man, I will need to write that on more or less everything then. All right, here we go. Now then, let's overclock this CPU, see what this puppy can actually do, and uh, get it to its new owner. So I'm going to try for 300 megahertz, should be a good start. Oh yeah, and let's unlock the RAM so we get the full speed of it. Nice. I guess I could put a red lighting in there to match the the deep or um, power supply. I guess that's one way of doing it. And kind of an easy way too. Oh, we are almost up to level 12. I think it's 13 when I unlock uh, GPU overclocking. So, pretty nice. We're getting close. So close. Okay, idle temps are looking really good. Wow. 78 degrees, that is very good. Okay, let's restart and try and improve on this. Could we potentially get 500 megahertz overclock on this? I'm gonna try. This might be a bit much. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, maybe. Maybe, maybe a bit much. Well, the idle temps aren't looking too bad. And we're getting up to 89. Wow, I kind of want to try for another 100. That would mean 600 megahertz. That is a lot. Let's see if we can do it, though. I am intrigued. I mean, as long as it not... As long as it... Wow, can't even speak. As long as it is not throttling, I'm good with it. And... It's getting very close to 95. But it, it, but it is not throttling. That is great. Now let's put you all into that good old-fashioned red. Oh yeah. And let's get score on this puppy.
looking good. There is bright light on the Sotac graphics card. Other than that, it seems to be red. So that, that's kind of cool. Although when I look at it like this, it actually looks like the NCXT cooler is more like yellow orange. But when I go closer, then it's turning red. That's that's kind of weird. Huh. Oh, uh, let's check on the ooh. There is a 1070 at a 68% discount. That is a great deal. And the Gaming X HD, isn't that the top ranking one? No. But it is in the top four. Top ranking is Gaming Z. Still, though, I kind of want that one. Because, seriously, that is a great deal. Uh, that was not what I was uh, looking for, honestly, though, but... Nice. Okay, we got to dawn with a power supply. We got the upgrade. Ah, we got Pat with the replacement of the CPU in the air cooler. I guess I could do that. I think we can fit that one in. Okay, 5,499. Yes. Pretty good numbers, honestly. And the CPU even outdid the graphics card. Impressive. Here you go. A great custom PC building company. Okay, let's see. Decent pat. Uh, here we go. We got you a 1800X and uh, the same cooler that you already had. We did improve on your CPU though. From a 1600 to 1800X, that's, that's a huge improvement. And there we go. You're getting the same cooler. Uh, did I write anything else on you? Uh, no. That's it. Okay, well, if nothing else, I want to make sure that you boot off of that SSD. I got a stinking suspicion that you are not. Uh, let, let's also unlock the RAM. Yeah, look at that. That's disgusting. <laughs> Alright, that feels a whole lot better. Awesome. Wait. Plastic white cables. I didn't write that one up. Okay, uh, just gonna add that to the notes. 
should have done that. White cables. Okay, well. I think I'm gonna leave that for the next episode, though. I'm ending off this one here. I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.